Almost heaven. West Virginia. Country roads. Take me home. That's the MGK version. We made it to Summersville Lake State Park. It is the newest state park in West Virginia. So new, they don't even have any real parking or bathrooms or bathrooms or a driveway or proper driveway to get through there. We couldn't even tell it was a state park because the big sign said no, no traffic. Um, but to get to the newest almost heaven swing, it's a one minute walk. Three and a half hours. Took a few bathroom breaks through the back mountains of West Virginia. Yeah. And now we're heading up to the overlook of uh, what's this called again? Summersville Lake. Summersville Lake. This is Pirate Cove Trail. How far is it? Yeah, uh, it's 0.8 miles. We got a little nervous because. Everybody had extreme hiking gear on in the parking lot, like hiking sticks and these big backpacks. I was a little nervous. They said it was 0.8 miles to the Overlook. Yeah. Because we have another state park to go to today. Yeah. We're not dressed for any extreme hiking. She's got white shoes on. Uh, these are trail shoes. <clears throat> okay. White trail shoes. They're this tan. Is only, They're dirt colored. This is only 0.8 miles. We'll get there. I don't know if you can tell, but this is gonna be fun coming back up for a couple of fatty nomadies. Whoa. Gotta make sure I don't slip. Don't ruin our trip when we just started it. Stay humble. What do you mean stay humble? Well, we watch ourselves back going up and down these mountains. I don't know. Uh-oh, which one's Pirate's Grove Trail? We made it. That wasn't hard at all. Yeah. He said 0 0.8 miles is mile, mile and a half, right? What, zero? Point, 0 0.8 miles, he said? Point eight? Point, point 0.8, that's almost a mile. We're at a mile. Okay, well, there you go. So it was 0 0.8 miles. We made it. It's gorgeous. I bet you it's even better during the summer.
I guess he wants to go get something to eat. Yes. At Fat, Fat, Fat Eddie's. Old school burgers, shakes. I'm not French too, fries. I'm not too convinced. But hot dogs. We'll see. It doesn't have to be good. It's old school. You'll see. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take you with us. Come on. It ain't even that bad. It ain't even that bad. Let's stop. Let's stop for a second. That was easy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. These heavy duty hikers, they don't like to say hello or acknowledge me when I say hello. Isn't that like common white people practice when hiking? Especially oh, girls. Man. Yeah. These people are like, nope. Our bags are too big to be dealing with pleasantries. Saw us on YouTube? Yeah. Was it the... Uh, mountain Roots? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they came in here. Yeah, I like it. I've been following for a little while. Well, thank awesome. you guys. Thank you. Yeah. We got a cool hole. I like it here. As soon as I saw this place on YouTube, I knew exactly what I was getting. It's very reminiscent of like the 60s and 70s, the whole setup. It's a walk up. You don't go inside. They have a ton of, a ton of ice cream and milkshake flavors, but it's your typical Burger Shack. I think it's fantastic. I love Burger Shacks. Even their menus like old school. It's got that old Coca-Cola menu. Absolutely. Old Pepsi, that's right, they have Pepsi products here. I got just burger and fries. Everything came in a brown bag with neat little french fry bags with the logo on it. Too bad they don't have cool t-shirts. I got tie-dye, I don't like tie-dye. We made it. Look at that. Babcock, Babcock State Park. We're gonna make it up there. This is the most visited state park in West Virginia. It is absolutely gorgeous and there are bugs everywhere. But we're gonna head up there next. See what's going on. It's pretty packed. Best time to come is when it's snowing, when there's nobody here. <laughs>
very, very crowded. So come just before they close or just when they open, or if it's been snowing. There's a lot of bugs, bring bug spray. Yeah. But it's gorgeous, nonetheless. It's not in the late summer, early fall. Yeah. So much bugs. We're gonna go inside, let's go look. We did something fantastic. Hold on, we did not do anything fantastic. We got out of the car, went in the gift shop, and walked over here. Yeah, but it's gorgeous. Luckily, newer phones have the option to cut people out. Yeah. Okay, so we still have two hours until we can go to the Airbnb. Um, I found where there's two more almost heaven swings about 20 minutes from here and 20 minutes for our Airbnb. So we're gonna go ahead and go do that. One's at a marketplace and one is at a lake. So this should be interesting. This one's interesting. This one, it's not at a lake. It's not at a state park. It's not at the state capitol. It's at a conference center. Well, it's called a marketplace. Conference center. You can buy this lovely statue for two thousand dollars. Any takers? So yeah, it's at a conference center. I think we're gonna walk in because she wants some coffee. I don't really know if there's coffee here. I saw there? someone with an ice cream. Okay, so, so maybe there's something. Maybe. All right. <laughs> No. Is that someone else's? I don't know. Here we go. That wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> so we found a swing again, and we took a picture with it again. But we went inside the, whatever it's called, the center. And uh, they do like, they, it seems a lot of people go there for food, right? Mostly dinner. But I don't know if I would choose to eat there, because it's probably all just shipped in. 
Yeah, frozen. It's giving me like hospital cafeteria yes. vibes. Yes. I didn't even want to like order coffee. Yes. It took us about 48 minutes to get here. Um, it would have taken 20, but apparently the main highway through West Virginia is a toll road and we have on our Waze app to avoid tolls. So I don't know what we're going to do now. We got how long till we can check into our Airbnb? An hour. An hour. Okay. There's a town near there. Right? Yeah, but we could go to Lake Stevens. Oh, we're going to Lake Stevens to another another swing. That's right. We're going to another swing again. Okay. We're gonna take pictures <laughs> again. So all in all we'll have how many swings by the time this trip is over? Like ten? Nine? Nine or ten. Oh yeah, because New River Gorge isn't yeah. a state park. Alright. to the park office and it there's nobody there I thought it probably would have been near there but apparently it's not uh, so we went up this other road and it was a tiny road and we had started backing down because we saw private property signs <laughs> and camera signs and all this and by the time we start backing down there's like two side-by-sides behind us and then there's one in front of us and I thought we were gonna get shot, so. But we didn't. They told us where the swing was. And apparently it's down by the dam. So we're rerouting and we're gonna go to the dam. That was a hassle. Uh, they make it almost impossible to find these swings. Now, I'm serious. There's no signs ever. The addresses always take you somewhere else, but we finally found it after going to the dam where the local told us it was and nobody there knew what we were talking about. So we finally found the overlook, which you put it into the map and they don't, it doesn't know. The map, Google Maps ways, they don't know. But we found it. This was a big hassle. I mean, the view's nice. The view's gorgeous. Yeah. So. It's amazing. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> but this is number nine for us. Yep. Unless we want to go to the Kentucky border or the Ohio border. Might be a little bit before we hit another, another one. There's one near Lost River that we missed. Oh, okay. Both so times we were down there. Okay, so there's one more we can get and make it an even 10. Well, in January we'll hit 10 because there's one at the Snowshoe. Oh, yeah, we're going to Snowshoe in January. So there's that. All right, now we're going to go back to the Airbnb mm -hmm. and probably change and shower and then go get something to eat.